Hi everyone, I know that this looks a little different than what you've come to expect through music and message, but after not doing a video last week because of some stuff going on, um, I didn't want to skip another week, even though some of the technology that is supposed to work is not working today. So, instead of skipping, here's something, here's today's song, today's music, and today's message, just in a little bit of a different format. victorious in the strife for those he came to save his glories now we sing who died and rose on high who died eternal life to bring and lives that death may die crown him the lord of love behold his hands and Moons yet visible above in beauty glorified. No angel in the sky can fully bear the sight, but downward bends each burning eye at mysteries so bright. Crown in the Lord of Peace, whose power served to sway. From pole to pole that wars may cease And all be prayer and praise His reign shall know no end And round his pierced feet Fair flowers of paradise Extend their fragrance ever sweet Crown him the Lord Romans 8, 2 through 3. The Holy Spirit will give you life that comes from Jesus and will set you free from sin and death. The law of Moses cannot do this because our selfish desires make the law weak. But God set you free when he sent his own son to be like us sinners and to be a sacrifice for our sin. God used Christ's body to condemn sin. Who died eternal life to bring. Seems like a huge contradiction on the surface. How does death bring life? Of course, the concept of sacrifice is nearly as old as humanity. The book of Genesis tells stories of sacrifices being made to God for any number of reasons. Eventually, those sacrifices were codified into law when God spoke 
to Moses. The sacrifices for atonement of sin, those required the sacrifice of an animal without blemish, typically a lamb. That lamb, in having its blood sprinkled on the altar, would atone for the sins of the one giving the sacrifice. But if they sinned again, another sacrifice was required. It wasn't a once-and-done situation. And we, being flawed and selfish, would require that sacrifice time and time again. Who died eternal life to bring. That's where Jesus the Lamb of God comes in. He, in his perfection, was not just a sacrifice for the sins of a few, but a sacrifice for all of the sins of the entire world. We are no longer slaves to the law of ritual sacrifice, for the sacrifice has been made for all of us. And what's more, the sacrifice of Christ, while fully real, was not the end for Christ rose from the dead, and in doing so, defeated death itself. Who died eternal life to bring, and lives that death may die.